I always forget to put my bins out. I've got three at home now that get collected on different days of the week and sometimes a gap between weeks and I never know when they're coming. And we end up missing bins being collected and big piles of rubbish being collected outside. So if you have this problem, um, stick around. I'm gonna show you how I fixed it with Home Assistant and some actionable notifications. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, welcome to Project Smart Home. My name's Paul. As I said in the intro, um, I've got a problem with remembering to put my bins out. Um, there's three of them. I've got one for waste, general waste, one for garden waste, and one for recycling. They all, they, they're all collected on different days of the week and there's, there's sometimes a couple of weeks gap between them being picked up. So what I've done is um, I've created some voice notifications. Good morning, it's bin day. Have you put the green bin out? And some actionable notifications, all within Home Assistant um, using um, standard automation with ho within Home Assistant to notify me on the correct day of the week before I need to put the bin out so I never forget again. And it seems to be working really well. I've had it in place for a while. Uh, and the beauty is I've got all of this just in one routine, um, just using um, a choose option. So uh, if that sounds of interest, I'm gonna go into the detail of how it works initially. So I'll take you through the automation and give you some examples, and then I'll show you how to create the notifications yourself. So hopefully that'll be as useful for you, and uh, I'll see you in a sec. I'm going to take you through the automation and what it does. Um, so I've gone straight into Home Assistant, into Settings, Automations, and my automation is called Bin Day Notification. I'll in this section, I'll take you through what I've got in place, and then in the next section, I'll show you how you can create your own automation to do the same thing. So essentially, what this automation is doing is doing three things or providing three notifications for me. And I'll go through this in some more detail in a minute. So essentially, myself and my wife, I'll get an actionable notification on our mobile phones when we need to be reminded to put the bin out. Uh, and then secondly, we'll get a message that will play on our Google Home speakers, but that could easily be on, on Amazon speakers. And I've also um, got a nice little image that comes up on my Google display screen as a third reminder, don't forget to put the bins out. So hopefully a combination of those three things, uh, uh, actionable notification on my phone, um, a, a message coming out on the speakers of the uh, Google Home devices, and then also something appearing on the screen as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, let me take you through how this is built up. Uh, I'll start from the top. So essentially I'm using the calendar um, to diarize all of the times and dates or days that the bins are being collected. So if I quickly flick over to calendar, so as you can see, this is a very busy calendar. So I'm, I'm using this calendar function quite a lot for notifications, for putting the bins out, um, for kids tutor lessons or kids activities, football, ballet, various other things. So if we have a look on Wednesday morning, we've got the green bin at eight o'clock um, is the first diarise entry. And then Fridays, we have alternate weeks for our black bin and our blue bin. So you see on Friday the 6th and Friday the 13th, we've got the black bin and the blue bin. And then on the 20th and 27th, it's kind of rotating. So the green bin is our garden waste, black bin is our general waste, and blue bin is the recycling bin. So it's using this calendar to then trigger this automation. And as I go through this, it should all become clear, but if it doesn't, then let me know and I'll, I'll try and answer some questions. 
So the condition I've got for the whole automation is using a helper um, to set the state of a toggle switch. So if the state of this toggle switch is on, then this automation should run. So essentially, once we've gone through this process and we've acknowledged we've put the bins out, then in our actionable notification at the end, it turns the state of this to off and then this routine doesn't run anymore. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then we go on, okay, what do we do then? So I've got three options, option one, two, and three. So depending on whether it's the blue bin, black bin, or green bin. So if I take you through one of these, then that's essentially the same thing for the other two options. So in option one, confirm message of home is blue bin. So the calendar is my home calendar and the, the, the message in here or the state is blue bin. So flipping back to the calendar, what it's looking for is that text. So on Friday the 13th at eight o'clock in the morning, it's looking for that blue bin text. So if it detects that text, then it'll action this option within this automation. Um, so that's that part and it's now essentially chosen this action to run based on the blue bin part. Um, so what I'm doing now is, is a repeat while. So what I want to do is repeat these notifications until I've pulled my finger out and I've put the bin out that needs to go out on that, that day. Um, so essentially keep running this while the bin helper is set to on. Okay, so first thing it's gonna do is um, send my wife a message on her phone to say, have you put the blue bin out? And then this action here. So essentially what this does is creates a, an option under the notification. I'll try and show it on the screen here so you can see what it looks like. Um, so when I get a message saying, have you put the blue bin out? There should be an option under that to, to say yes. So I can click yes, I have. And if I click yes, then what it does is using this yes underscore bin underscore out triggers another automation, which I'll flick across to now on another screen. So what I've done is I've created another automation, which is the set Boolean, Boolean to off the bin day boolean so um, when there's a mobile app notification event fired against the action yes bin out if you remember back on here that's what we've got in here yes bin out so this is in my automation so it's looking for that in the other automation which i'll flip back to now you could specify users but we're not interested in doing that. And then what we want it to do is obviously turn that helper to off. Okay, so if I've said yes, then the bin's out and I no longer need this to run. I've then got another automation that resets that Boolean value at one o'clock in the morning every day. So it's ready for the next time the routine runs. So if I move back to my... Um, my automation to remind me to put the bins out. That's the notification for my wife to get a prompt. So have you put the blue bin out? I get exactly the same message. Have I put the blue bin out? So whoever has done that, then they click yes. And this automation is then no longer required. So in addition to the notifications on our phone, we also have a message sent to all of our communal speakers. So I've essentially grouped all of my Google Home devices that are in communal areas, so in the hallway, in the kitchen, and various other rooms in the house. So they will get a message that will say, good morning, it's blue bin day, have you put the bin out? 
So that's the second way that we get notified. Um, and then there's a delay after that because I'm essentially displaying an image onto the Google display that um, will would essentially stop that that speaker message from coming out. So once the speaker message has come out and said, good morning, it's blue bin day, but the bin out, delay for 10 seconds, just to make sure that message is finished playing. And then we display an image on the screen. And the way I'm doing that is in the kitchen, because I'm assuming this time of the day, we're either gonna be in the kitchen doing breakfast, getting the kids ready for school or whatever we're doing. And then, um, uh, displaying the appropriate image and the way that you can add these is if you go into manage and then add media you can then select an image that you want to upload into home assistant that it can consume and i literally just went into google search for blue bin green bin black bin took some images and then just um, i'm essentially using those on the screen uh, so that's that piece, come out of there. And then once that's been run, now it's gonna delay for 30 minutes. So if the Boolean value, the helper hasn't been reset, this would just can, can continue to loop and remind me every 30 minutes, but obviously you can choose whatever time's appropriate for you. It, it, it would get quite annoying if you were doing every five minutes, but I've kind of chosen every 30 minutes. Um, and what did I say up here? Did I mention up here? Yeah, so essentially on this calendar home piece, an important thing to, to note is what's gonna happen is 30 minutes before, so it's important to click before, I think the default action here is after, but you need to click before. And then 30 minutes before your blue bin um, calendar entry is due. So let's have a look at that, let's flick back to calendar. So blue bin, eight o'clock, so it's 7.30 in the morning that would trigger this automation and start going through this process of, of annoying me into putting the, the bin out. And then I say it would, would repeat that every 30 minutes until I've reset that bin helper or clicked on the ac actionable notification in my app to say, yes, yes, we've done it. Leave me alone. Yes, we've done it. Um, so that's option one. And then if it's uh, a different day of the week and flicking back to the calendar thing again, if it's black bin, if it was Friday the 20th at 7.30 in the morning, uh, black bin, yeah, because again, it's 30 minutes, the whole trigger of the automation is 30 minutes before. So if it's, thir if it's 30 minutes before, the black bin message is found in my calendar, and this is my calendar, then I want you to start this automation. And again, it's the same thing. Loop this, repeat this while the bin helper is on. And it's the same, same process. So again, you know, it'd be keep looping until I've I've gone into the message in uh, on my app on my phone and said yes we've put the bin out and the, exactly the same thing for for the green side of things no difference there um, so that's quite a nice little automation and it does as I say it does work and it annoys us into putting the dustbin out all the dustbins out on the appropriate day so hopefully that was useful. What I'll do now is I'll actually go into the process of creating this from scratch, just so you can visualize how that works and maybe create one for yourself. Thanks for watching. Through how you would create this automation yourself, and I'll break this up into different segments just to make it a little bit 
easier for me to record and hopefully easier for you to, to digest as well. So if we start with the calendar, um, so hopefully you've got um, access to calendar in your Home Assistant instance. Uh, if you're not using it already, then I'll show you how to do it. If you know how to use it already, then feel free to skip ahead to another section. So basically we'll add an event and the summary essentially needs to be um, the text that you are going to consume in your automation. So if we put orange bin, for example, um, then that's the text that we will consume in our automation. Um, and then we can put a description. So weekly remind, reminder to put out the bin. Uh, it's in my home calendar. It's the only one I've got, so easy. And what we'll do is we'll say that it's going to be collect collected on, let's go for a Monday, and we'll set that. And what time? So the way that I'm using the automation is I'll set a time and then trigger the automation before that time. And that's just the way I've chosen to do it. You could pick a time and then do afterwards, but it's whatever works for you. So on Monday the 9th of September, we'll say eight o'clock again until 8.30. And you can repeat this. And obviously in this particular case, it is a repeated activity because the bin gets picked up either weekly, once a week or every other week. So it's quite handy in here, you've got repeat intervals. So for all of my bins, in fact, they get picked up every other week. So the interval is every two weeks and on a Monday. Whoops, on a Monday. Um, and I don't want it to ever end because I want this um, this in place. And you know, for the for the longevity of the um, automation, so that's all you would need to do, and then you would add the event, and it would appear in your calendar. I obviously don't need to do that because I've got got mine set up already. But that's essentially as easy as that to get running. Okay, I'll move on to the next part. Got the calendar entry up and running, we'll go through creating the automation itself. So hopefully this is gonna be readable. Um, I've split my screen into two halves. So on the left-hand side of the screen, we'll have the existing automation open that I've created already. And then on the right-hand side of the screen, we'll have a brand new automation that we can go through and create one together. So on the right-hand side, I'm gonna create a new automation and we want to add the calendar trigger okay so we'll compare that to this side so as I said earlier I've only got one calendar so that's the one I'm going to select and um, what I do is as I said earlier on my calendar, I've got the calendar entry at 8 a.m. for my bins, but my notification is going to be set for 30 minutes before, and as I said, that default to after, and that's caught me out a few times. You need to make sure that you put before, 30 minutes before the calendar entry. So that's that piece done. Um, what we'll do next is the helper. So we need to add a condition. We'll add the state, and this is called something like kitchen bin, I think it is. Bin. Yeah, kitchen bin automation. Um, and then if that is set to on, then we're going to run. So as I was saying earlier in the video, if during the course of this automation, you click 
on the actionable notica notification click yes, then it turns this state to off. So what you need to do is make sure this is on for the automation to run. And that's the that part done. Um, I'll come back later to show you how to create the helper as well. And then next we've got our three options. So we need to, on our new automation on the right hand side, action, and then choose. So we'll copy our first option. I'll take you through the first option and then hopefully it'll be self-explanatory after that. Um, so we've got first option and we've got conditions. So add a condition, copy that one, add a condition. So when the state of my home calendar and the attribute is message is blue bin. So in our example, we did orange bin. So what it's doing is based on the calendar that we mentioned earlier, it's now looking to see if there's an entry called orange bin as the condition. Then if there is, then we need to add some actions within this option here. So what do we need to do? We need to add, oops, option, action. So this is now the repeat. Repeat. Repeat while, and then again, the condition is this helper again. So the state of the kitchen bin helper is on. So while that attribute is switched to on, you need to keep running this. And that's all we need to do there. And then we can start adding our actions. So, Okay, so now we'll add our actions. So the first action is send a notification. So I'll go to add action within my first option and call, that's not called call service, it's now called perform action and no notification to, we'll do, we'll do it on my phone, I can find it, Motorola, there we go, scroll up, so the message is, have you put a Have you put the orange bin out? Um, so that's the message. And then the data in here. So we need to add what actions we want on our actionable notification. So actions and the action is Yes. I mean, you can call this whatever you want. It's just something I've made up. You can call it, yeah, anything that makes sense to you. 
just as long as you use that same text in the um, manual action in a minute that I'll show you that that's triggered by this. So you need to make sure title is underneath the action line and then yes. And then destructive. So basically what that means is that once I've clicked yes on the actionable notification, the message will dis disappear, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, so that is that. So when I do this, I'll get uh, a message on my, when this is triggered, I'll get a message on my mobile phone saying, have you put the orange bin out? So let's see if we can do that and I'll get that to appear on the screen. There you go, action completed successfully so we know that would work. Okay, so I won't do the same again for my wife's phone because that'll be pointless. Um, but what I will do now is add the next action which is to play a message. play media so I'm going to do this on my kitchen display and I'm going to use text-to-speech I'm going to use I could use Google I could use Google text-to-speech I could use Nabucasa text-to-speech Google's text-to-speech text or home assistant text-to-speech but I'll use Google one. there we go have you put the let's change that to orange orange Good morning, it's orange bin day. Have you put the orange bin out? Select. Not sure whether we're going to be able to hear that, but let's give it a go. Good morning, it's orange bin day. Have you put the orange bin out? There you go. Hopefully you heard that. So that, that bit works. And then as I said, we, we need to make sure that message finishes playing before I put my image on the screen. Um, so let's now do a delay uh, for 10 seconds just while that finishes playing and then we can add another action to display the image that I want to display. So again, let's go to media player, play media, I'll do it on the kitchen display again, and media. So what I'd need to do is add an image. So let me just see if we can do this. Manage, whoops, manage, add media, and downloads. So these are, these are the green bins that I added yesterday so that's what you would do you just google whatever picture you want and download it or create your own image modify it and then um, you'll see it displayed on the screen and I'll try and show a picture of that for you so for just for the purpose of this I'll just use one that's that's already there so you select that and in fact no I don't want to do that I want to go back out of that then I want to select the image that I want to use and then that would play so what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you an image on the screen now if I can of how that looks when it's displayed on the screen um, so where have we got to we've done the delay and then we've done the image and then we need to add the final delay which is waiting for a, an, a, an amount of time that you want. So I'm waiting 30 minutes because I don't want it. I want it to annoy me to put the bins out, but I don't want it to annoy me so much that it's it just becomes a pain. So uh, I've, I've kind of chosen 30 minutes and that, that seems fine. So that, that completes that first action. So we've got 
let's just go through it again quickly. We've got um, a, an option to choose. Um, so there's going to be three options for my three bins, but in this case, we've just got option one. Um, it's checking for that message in calendar. So if the message is uh, orange bin and we are within 30 minutes or 30 minutes on that, based on the calendar entry up here, 30 minutes before the cal calendar entry for orange bin, then this option will kick into action. Um, so while the helper, which I'll show you in a second, is set to on, then perform the action to notif send an actionable notification to my phone, play a message on my Google display to say, have you put the bin out? And then wait 10 seconds and display an image on the screen as well. So I've got audible and visible uh, notification as well as a notification of my phone. So as I said, all of this is helping me to remember to put the bins out. Um, so and that's it. So you would just follow that same process to add another option. So you could go option two and then you go through that same process if you've got multiple bins that you want to put out. So what I'll do now is if I go on to um, this side of things. So if I look at helpers. So in here, I should have one called kitchen bin, kitchen bin, whoops, kitchen dash bin, there we go. So as I say, it's just a toggle switch. So by default, this is on and um, during the course of the automation, once I've clicked the actionable notification to say, yes, I've put the bin out, then this will toggle off. Um, and the way that that happens is through another automation here, which is, what do I call it? There we go, bin day. So let's go back to split screen again and go back to here so if you remember when you're creating the note of actionable notification for your phone you've said have you put the bin out and then the data here is action. So action is yes, underscore, bin, underscore, out. And title, yes, destructive, yes. So once Home Assistant detects from a mobile device that that action has been initiated over on the right hand side here, then what it will do as I hope you would expect, is turn that kitchen bin helper to off and then that will completely stop that routine, that automation from running. What I, ha what, as you saw in my calendar, I've got lots and lots of different um, calendar entries running so I'm making a lot of use of these Boolean uh, on-off helpers. Um, so what I've got here is um, this reset. So every morning, two in the morning, I essentially reset all of my helpers back to being on. So the following day, if there's an automation that's going to run again, then it needs that, that Boolean value, that, um, that helper to be set to on. So hopefully that all makes sense if I've missed anything or left you more confused please let me know in the comments below and I'll try and answer your questions hopefully that was useful thanks for watching thanks for watching the video this far hopefully you found it useful if I've left you more confused um, please uh, put some comments into the comments below 
and I'll try and answer any questions that you've got or do follow-up videos. I think it's a, a, a really useful way to um, be reminded to put your bins out. I, as you saw in the video, I'm making really good use of calendar, uh, the calendar entry items to remind myself for the bins, remind the kids for tutor lessons or doing chores. Um, so it's, it's a great way to easily manage the diary and trigger automations from. Um, actionable notifications is a great thing as well. So um, both myself and my wife and even the kids can get notifications on their phone to say, have you done this, that and the other and um, be constantly pestered into, into doing something until it's done. Uh, hopefully the video was useful. Thanks for watching. If it was useful, um, please consider liking and subscribing and I'd love to get some feedback in the comments below. Let me know if you're doing something similar or if you've got any other ideas of automations that could make use of the calendar and actionable notifications or maybe there's just a better or simpler way to, to be reminded to put the bins out. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.